Well, hey there, YouTube. It's Petey Two Finger, and I was just uh, browsing through some social media, and I ran across this post here in Reddit, and I was scrolling through. This guy says shrooms help me with my heroin addiction. One year sobriety for me thanks to LSD as well. Bill W was on to something. Congratulations. Now what that what he's talking about there, Bill W is the guy who founded Alcoholics Anonymous. And author reveal Bill Wilson's acid theory, but his theories upset, his experiments upset other AA members. Bill Wilson believed LSD had helped him overcome depression and that it could give alcoholics insight to aid their recovery. Most members of AA disagreed. The co-founder of AA believed LSD could be used to cure alcoholics and credit the drug with helping his own recovery from debilitating depression, according to new research. Now, I don't really understand what the new research part of it is. Oh, this article is more than 10 years old. I, see, I was aware of this in 1988. I was aware of the fact that... Uh, Bill Wilson felt that his experience with LSD was pivotal in his sobriety. About 20 years after setting up the Ohio-based sobriety movement in 1935, Bill Wilson came to believe that LSD could help cynical alcoholics achieve a spiritual awakening and start on the path to recovery. Uh, so yeah, uh, this Don Latin, author of a book to be published in October by the University of California Press entitled Distilled Spirits. So maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was 2012 when I found that out. If that's what they say, I'm going to have to side with a published article rather than my memory. Um. I did attend AA in 1988, although it didn't stick. I think I was sober for three months. Um, and, and now, let's see, 724, I've got six months, I guess. You know, I think it was like January 20th or 22nd. Uh, so LSD by mimicking an insanity could help alcoholics achieve a central tenet of the 12 step program. He believed it was a matter of finding a greater power than ourselves that could help restore us to sanity. He warned, I don't believe LSD has any miraculous property of transforming spirituality and emotionally sick people into healthy ones overnight. It can set up a shining goal on the positive side. After all, it is only a temp temporary ego reducer the vision and insights given by LSD could create a large incentive at least in a considerable number of people his words were found in a late 50s letter to Father Ed Dowling a Catholic priest and member of an experimental group he had formed in New York to explore the spiritual potential of LSD. Wilson is known to have taken LSD to supervise experiments in the 50s with Betty Eisner, an American psychologist known for pioneering use of the drug and other psychedelic drugs as adjuncts to psychotherapy. And Cindy Cohen, a psychiatrist in LA. Wilson also discussed in great detail taking a drug with other Aldous Huxley and is likely, though not proven, the pair experimented with the drug together. I am certain that the LSD experiment helped me very much, Wilson wrote in a 57 letter to science writer Ger Gerald Hurd. I 
find myself with a heightened color perception and appreciation of beauty almost destroyed by my years of depressions. Wilson was far from pleased with the idea of alcoholics being assailed by some strange chemical. Later on, Bill got extremely interested and he likened his experience to his earlier vision of seeing this chain of drunks around the world all helping each other. This caused various scandals in AA. They were very ambivalent about their great founder taking the drug, yet they wouldn't have existed if he hadn't been of an adventurous kind of mind. Alcoholics Anonymous was actually considered using LSD. Alcoholics get to a point in the program where they need a spiritual experience, but not all of them are able to have one. Shortly after his first LSD experience, Wilson admitted he was appreciating the drug's value. I do feel a residue of assurance and a feeling of enhanced beauty that seems likely to stay by me. A few months on, Wilson was yet more positive about the long-term benefits. More and more, it appears to me that the experience has done sustained good. My reactions to things totally, in particular, have very definitely improved for no other reason that I can see. Latin said Wilson was so intrigued by the spiritual potential of LSD, he formed the experimental group that included Dowling, Eugene X-Men, Harper's religious book editor. Wilson, however, remained sensitive to the controversy of his experiments. In a letter to Cohen written between 1956 and 61, he reported hearing gossip about his LSD use in AA circles. When he reminded Cohen about the desirability of omitting his name when discussing LSD with AAs, Cohen assured Wilson, reassured Wilson, that his LSD trials did not include other AA active members. In 1958, Wilson defended his drug use in a long letter, but soon afterwards removed himself from the AA governing body to be free to do his experiments. According to the an anonymous author of his official biography, Wilson Felst, LSD helped me eliminate many barriers erected by the self or ego that stand in the way of direct experiences of the cosmos and of God. He thought he might have found something that could make a big difference to the lives of many who still suffered. But according to Pass It On, published in 1984 by AA World Services in New York, the movement was totally against his suggestions. As words of Bill's activities reached the fellowship, there were inevitable repercussions. Most AAs were violently opposed to his experimenting with mind-altering substance. LSD was then totally unfamiliar, poorly researched, and tightly experimental, and Bill was taking it. So we see here uh, more folks chiming in. Proud of you, man. Alcohol is just so bad for us. You're so much better off just leaving it be. So refreshing waking up every day feeling good and not hungover. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Keep going. That's awesome. We're proud of you, even though we're total strangers. Hello, friend. You do not know me, but I am so proud of you. I feel we're on a similar path. Mine was DMT, which helped me quit alcohol. Finally, four months for me. You're doing great. You got this. Oh man, this made me so happy. Thank you for your kind words. Congratulations on your four months. That's such a wonderful accomplishment. Psychedelics are truly the medicine of our age. One day at a time. Keep kicking ass. Hell yeah. Marinelli's. Sparkling apple juice. That looks good. Three and a half years alcohol free, one and a half year nicotine free, thanks to AA. They frown upon any use and LSD. 
Yes, Bill W. was part of supervised experiments back in 56. So did Steve Jobs, but I can't expect to invent a new iPhone just by taking acid. What an amazing accomplishment. Congratulations. So, yeah, this guy... I'm almost on four months off the bottle from an intentional LSD trip. It's amazing and healing potential if we're willing to be open with ourselves and the deeper roots of our suffering. Ever listen to Bon Iver tripping? Great come down music with so much heartfelt presence. Keep it up. You're doing great. You're a much better version of yourself without alcohol. In February, I made the move to take all alcohol out of my own home. I thought I could just drink socially and it wouldn't be a problem, but I'd always find an excuse to drink more. I set my intentions for my trip. I wanted to explore my unhealthy relationship with alcohol, how it's harmed me, and what benefits I could get from being sober. My husband helped me tremendously by talking me through all this and after the trip was over. My overwhelming compulsion to drink was pretty much gone. It was amazing. I still think about I still think about it, but I know my life is so much better without alcohol. To answer your question, I haven't. I'll have to check them out. If you're still having lingering mental fog after quitting alcohol, try low dose of lion's mane. That's what cured my alcohol brain fog after quitting drinking nearly every day for four years. Yay, celebrate with some crack and a cigarette or three. Damn, me too, man. Proud of you. Hell yeah, congratulations. Keep it up. The Bill W. way. Congrats. I'm curious, though, how has LSD helped? I set my intentions prior to explore my alcohol problem, the harm it caused, and why my life would be so much better if I just quit. It helped me explore my thoughts and feelings in ways I couldn't before and reach the conclusion that I need to be sober and, most importantly, that I could do it. That's great. Congratulations and well done. Three years dry here. Thanks to psychedelics and 30 years plus the heavy drinking. Good for you. You got this. LSD always and forever. Fuck alcohol. 100%. Congratulations. Congratulations. Super interesting. I don't hear many people being sober, but Still doing drugs. My mom is in recovery for alcohol 40 years, but has pain in her back. I've asked her about using weed to help, but she said that would be a relapse. What are your thoughts? Nothing wrong with being California sober. And California sober is when you uh, partake of marijuana, but you abstain from alcohol and other harder drugs. It's a really tricky definition of sobriety varies for each person. Some people only have issues with certain substances which is alcohol for me. It wouldn't have an issue with anything else. For some, anything can be a potential addiction. For your mom, maybe something like heat, cold therapy, massage therapy, or yoga could be helpful. Some people see specialists for trigger point injections and then get when the pain gets to be more debilitating. And yeah, when you have back pain, unfortunately, some of us, the only answer is to take opiate pain relief to get to get through life and that's uh that's just a fact thank you now that you said that and we we need to be conscious of that when we're talking about america's opiate problem that that doesn't include chronic pain patients if they don't ab abuse their medication the chronic pain patients that do abuse their medication those people need to be uh put into counseling go to a program and monitored uh using urinalysis and uh, just don't let them play around, you know. So uh, thank you. Now that you said that, she has been very addictive personality, so she probably doesn't want to open Pandora's box with something like marijuana. But I'm really glad you found something that works for you, though. Thank you, friend. Amazing work. Coming up on two years without booze. I don't know where you were at with it, and I know this sounds cliche, but it really does get easier. 
I don't even want or crave that shit anymore. You couldn't give me a billion dollars to live that life again. I was starting to think I'd never feel this way again. It does cross my mind from time to time, but the urge usually passes quickly. It's such a good feeling to not feel sick all the time. You know, congratulations on the two years. Alcohol is the pits. You're a champ. Keep it up. Thank you. Two years here. Ate a random corner of a paper hit, and next thing I know, alcoholism, cigarette smoking was cured. Next day, I haven't had a problem with it since. It's crazy how it almost magically goes away. Congratulations on the two years here. Four months here, psychedelics definitely helped. LSD helped you, but you put in the work and fought fight, though. Massive respect. Stay strong. Congrats, friend. So many benefits in taking psychedelics. I do not see why they're illegal. I wasn't that deep in it. About 30 beers a week, every week. But it still wasn't easy. Stay strong and remember never to fall for that trick when your monkey brain tells you, oh, you've been sober for so long, one glass will do no harm. It will do. It's the glass that comes before it's the glass that comes before the next one. Five and a half years and counting for me. No acid involved, but shrooms. And I gotta tell you, that's the same thing. LSD and mushrooms are so similar. Uh, they are different, but uh, LSD being much more powerful, uh, it lasts longer, but the experience is uh, very similar, very similar stuff. On a similar journey, my friend, addiction steals your future positive feelings, ability to have them in exchange for that. The feeling is fleeting and short-lived. After my first trip, I stopped eating junk all the time and started doing weights, lost a bit of weight, and since then I've gotten stronger. I knew my diet was bad, but I wasn't getting exercise, but after the trip, it's like I flicked the switch and decided to change. So, four years of the same story. It's like all of these people have been through similar experiences where it saved me from a meth addiction. I went through a tough time with alcohol after I tripped out big style for months. The acid taught me I effed up and my silent teacher observed it all. Swore off alcohol after that. Nine months sober. F alcohol. Psychedelics have been nothing short of a miracle for me. But remember, we played the main role in taking our lives for, back. Psychedelics are just a tool that helped us get the job done. Shrooms helped me go to the gym once. <laughs> LSD made me realize I was addicted to ketamine. So this guy's addicted to ketamine, but he can't figure that out. See how our ego can, can play with our perception, play with reality. And then, and then this comes along and turns the light on it. Now, I don't plan to be sober, but I plan to limit how much I use it. Celebrated six years sober from alcohol and cocaine. Ooh, that's a big one. When you mix those two and you get hooked on that experience, it's, it's gotcha. So six years in January. Absolutely would not have lasted this long without the spiritual discovery self-study I've done through LSD.
acid helped me with my alcohol addiction. No point in drinking, in solo drinking at, at all, apparently. DMT is the thing that can truly reset your mind. 10 out of 10 would recommend. So there's there's even more comments here. Look at this. I had the worst trip yesterday. This helped me a lot. So uh, basically here we see this forum. It's the LSD section of reddit so people are here specifically to talk about their experiences with this drug and there's a good amount of people that are all chiming in with the same thing and that's that they had an experience with this drug and it showed them what they failed to see for their for themselves and somehow it put them in a state of mind that they were able to to stop whatever it, whatever it was it's not just alcohol here we have one guy saying meth we have people saying op opioid addiction we have people saying the combo of alcohol and cocaine and and then other people are saying, well, you know, the LSD isn't really the magic bullet. It's 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 our own minds. It's our own minds and bodies that are doing the work. Uh, but you take the LSD out of the picture, and it appears to me that a lot of these people would still be living the same life, right? I mean, isn't isn't that kind of what they're saying here? So. It seems to me, well, I'll be honest, I quit drinking in January. And the day that I had my last drink uh, was also a day that I... Uh, well, I don't, I don't, I don't want to kiss and tell. Uh, but let's just say I agree with this article. And how this came back into my life was nothing short of a series of very uh, interesting coincidences. I didn't go on the dark web and buy LSD. I didn't meet somebody at a Grateful Dead concert and give them $100 to to get uh, you know 30 hits of acid it was nothing like that it was like I kept running into this person at a, a place that I at the resale store and we kept having these real interesting conversations the guy was was brilliant and he he knew a lot of the same stuff that I know that's kind of fringe stuff that's a little bit out there but he had a really enlightened attitude about everything he was just really you know po positive spirituality type kind of new agey and uh, everything he said made a lot of sense and eventually i invited him over because he told me he had a guitar that needed repair and the guy came over and I repaired his guitar and uh, to repay me uh, rather than give me money which would have been classless uh, I ended up getting com completely free from a very very powerful and long alcohol addiction and I'm completely free from it I really don't miss it. It doesn't, I'm not sweating it. Like, you know, like I, I say, we went to an open bar wedding and 
I was freaking out because my wife, I was uh, outside talking when the bar was open before dinner. My wife got me a ginger ale that tasted funky, and my younger brother had three Cokes. And I was eye, eyeballing those Cokes, boy. Now my, my daughter had a glass of champagne. And I just thought to myself, oh, well, she's 21. Let's see if she goes back and has another. And she didn't. She had that one glass. Which I don't think she even finished. So... There you go. Uh, I couldn't be happier, and apparently I'm not alone here. So this is something to consider if you're out there and you're suffering. Uh, how you can use intent, which that, that's how it worked for me. I went into this. It was about a four-month thing. You know, I got I got the psychedelics and I thought about it and thought about it. I did not I did not want to take uh, a full dose of psychedelics. I wanted to just dip my toes, which I did. But then the day came and it, it was like, OK, you've been planning to try to quit drinking. Let's do it. And I took way more than I should have, but I also think that's the reason that I'm so completely free from it. So it was it was rough, you know. It wasn't an easy uh, twenty four hour period there. I didn't. I had been up for a couple of days, and then I was unable to sleep because of the effects of this drug, and it was very powerful. Very powerful. But apparently, I'm not alone. Anyway, you guys, take care of yourselves. Try to stay comfy. Stay comfy. Because of Try to keep yourselves comfortable. Stay cool, as I always say. Hug your pets. And peace.